Well, I'm still crunching from the last segment. Me too. I had a little mm. bit on my beard, mm -hmm. and I think I'm just going to leave it there. Sure, why not? A little something for later. Why wouldn't it? It adds character. It has character, mm -hmm. and you know, if people didn't already think I was a little bit of a slob, <laughs> let's just go ahead and let's just confirm it. Well, in case you missed it, in the last mm -hmm. segment, Case showed us a couple of easy dishes, especially if you're entertaining for Fourth of July with yeah. fresh, locally grown things that you can just get at your local farmers market. So now we've even got something mm -hmm. else. Case, what are we making now? So, this one is uh, takes a little bit more time, but okay. it's uh, it's it's as impressive as anything that you could actually bring. Again, it's, it's beautiful. something very very healthy, and all we're really doing is we're going to go to the market. So this is what I encourage people: go to the farmers market. Go whether you're in Bentonville, Springdale, Rogers, Fayetteville, Lamar, Missouri, wherever you're at. <laughs> And look and just see what they have on just, uh, you know, any sort of given day. Sure. Because today is Tuesday. There's all kinds of stuff. I know that this is playing in the afternoon, but Thursday and, 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 and Saturday in Fayetteville, it's incredible. Just look and see what they, so this is what I found. These crackers obviously are not, but they have carrots, radishes, radishes yep. green onions, tomatoes, all kinds of things. And it goes great with this dip. And this dip is simply made with carrots, about a pound of carrots that you're going to cut up. Okay. And put them in a little water with some bay leaf and garlic. Okay. Then you're going to just basically simmer those until they become soft. Next, you're going to let those cool just a little bit, and you're going to add them to a food processor, which you see right here. Some garbanzo beans. You can buy dried, or you can actually even get them from the can. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of the reserved water from what you were using to boil the carrots. Uh, the garlic, make sure you take the bay leaf out because you don't want that actually in your puree. Um, and then you start it and then you're going to add a little bit of olive oil just to sort of emulsify it to give it that kind of creamy sort of thing. So okay. I'm going to start it here, which, you know, a lot of times what you have to do is you have to make sure oh, it's actually in the right place. <laughs> okay. That's so looking good. you just kind of blend this together mm -hmm. and then you're going to add enough olive oil slowly until it becomes creamy. And what you have, what you end up with is this beautiful dip that you see right here in front of us. Mm -hmm. And you can garnish it with some of the, the garbanzo greens. You can actually add a little black pepper to it, which is what I kind of like to nice. do. You can actually little even kick. a little kick and even give it a little drizzle of olive oil just to give it a little bit of texture. Look at and that. And that's really it.